Hey friends, it's Angela Neidig, your independent Sensi consultant. If you couldn't tell by the picture, guess what time it is? It is Bring Back My Bar Time for June 2017. If you don't know what Bring Back My Bar is, twice a year, Sensi lets us vote on scents that have been retired and then the ones with the most votes get brought back for particular months. June is one of those months. They have picked 20 cents, usually it's 20 retired cents that got the most votes and that's what we're gonna talk about. But they also gave us five extra cents that have never been brought back. So we have 25 to choose from. Yes, and I actually have the bars with me, so we're going to talk about those. Um, I'm going to start in no particular order with Amber Road. Now, this one has been brought back a few times, so it must be a popular one. I actually have this one. So, um, it is a woodsy smell to me it's it's kind of masculine but it's um it's a woodsy smell sensi's description is open a box of treasure handpicked from exotic lands to discover glowing red cedar and resinous incense i hope that is how i you say that word because i don't know that word right there resinous I'm guessing that anyways, Amber Road, yes, it is, it's nice, it's, like I said, kind of woodsy, so there you go. The next one is Caramel Pear Crisp, and it's a yellowish color, yellowish kind of orangish color, and... Ah, this is one of the bakery scents, otherwise known as Corner Cafe, but bakery food, whatever, you know. It is definitely, I can definitely smell the pear. When you warm it up a little bit, yeah, you get a little, I get a little hint of caramel. So, Sensi's description is perfectly ripe pear and juicy nectarine. Blanketed in a brown sugar crust and topped with a dollop of warm caramel cream. Mm-hmm. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. The next one is been back a few times and I have some customers that are really going to be excited because they love the scent. Apple Press. It's red, of course. And to me... It smells just like when you bite into an, a juicy apple. It's really, really nice. Sensi's description is the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of the summer. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. The next one is where it all began if you don't know banana nut bread that was the first scent that orville brought to heidi and it really doesn't need any description it smells just like a big delicious piece of banana nut bread yes and the description is right from the oven with ripe bananas nuts and spices so there you go exactly exactly like banana nut bread it is wonderful next is forever yours it's a lavender purple color and it's i believe i would say it's in the romance collection i'm not sure about that these aren't actually in collections i'm just guessing if it was that's where it would have been it's kind of a floral, but not like 
real powerful perfumey. Its description is sweet, creamy lemon, an enchanting jasmine, a rhapsody of devotion. But it's light. It's not like really strong perfumey. So, there you go. Forever yours. The next one has been a popular one for me. And I actually still have some from before. Because I over-ordered so I wouldn't run out. Bubblegum. Bubblegum. It's pink, of course. And it smells like Bazooka Joe bubblegum. If, you if you're old enough to remember what that is... I don't even know if they still make Bazooka Joe anymore. Anyways, that's what it smells like. Bazooka Joe bubblegum. It's really good. And the description is the true scent of baseball card bubblegum, sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. So, yes, bubblegum. That one's good. Good, good, good. The next one is Frosted Ginger Cookie. Frosted ginger cookie. It's a brownish cookie color, I suppose. Oh, yeah. That smells so good. Like, those iced, frosted iced cookies you get in, like, I guess a bag or any kind of package, really. The iced frosted cookies. That's what that smells like. Very, very much duplicate of a frosted ginger cookie so there's another food bakery scent for you and the description is chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and a fragrant vanilla if you can't tell i'm a big fan of the bakery and food scents i love them coffee break real quick Mm. The next one, not so sure I'm going to like it, but like I said, everybody's nose is different. Everybody likes their own thing. Grapefruit Blossom. It's pink, and I am not a fan of grapefruit, but I'm going to smell it anyways, just because it's my duty to tell you what they smell like, or at least what I think they smell like. Yeah, that's definitely grapefruit. Like I said, I'm not a fan of grapefruit. I know some people are, so that's great. If you are a fan of grapefruit, you're going to like this one. Its description is tangy grapefruit with a splash of lily flower. So, grapefruit blossom. Okay, the next one is business casual. And this was actually um, in my starter kit. It was in the man category, man sense. It's a light bluish color. And yes, it smells like a man. Definitely like a man's cologne, but not a stinky one, a really nice one. So if you like your sexy man scents, you're gonna probably wanna try this. And the description of it is a fusion of exotic cardamom, intriguing caraway, lively pepper and fragrant woods with a powdery wisp of orange blossom. So, yes. After all that description, I just really smell a sexy man. But I'm not trying to concentrate on the other stuff. It just smells so good. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Business casual. Great man scent for my man scent lovers. And yes, I do have ladies that buy the man scent. It doesn't matter. You know what? You like what you like. The next one is Happy Birthday. It's a pink, 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 pink scent. And I've smelled this one before, but I'll smell it again because, well, because I want to. It smells like vanilla 
birthday cake frosting. Exactly. A candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. Yes. Vanilla birthday cake frosting. Or any kind of frosting. Doesn't have to be for a birthday cake, but whatever. Happy birthday. That's another good one. The next one is one that I have never smelled before until I got these. It's called Hawaiian Paradise. It is a very yellow. You can't really tell with my lighting. Maybe you can, but it's a very sunshiny yellow. And oh, smells like tropical. It's pretty darn close to a tropical drink. Yes, I like this one. Its description is a buffet of Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, banana, mango, papaya, and coconut. Papaya. Yeah, I probably said that wrong. Whatever. Yeah, I know what I like. Banana, so that's probably why I like this one. But yes, it's a very tropical scent. So if you need a vacation, or at least want to pretend like you're on vacation, get this scent. And then just close your eyes and imagine you're somewhere tropical. All right, the next one is Hendrix. And that one, I believe, was also in my starter kit. It, it's a manly scent. And it's strong. It's a very strong one. So I would not use a whole lot. Um, I would start with a half cube if you are having... It in your mini warmer, otherwise known as your nightlight warmer. But yes, um, it's a strong, manly scent. The description is rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthly patchouli, glowing sandalwood, and bold pink pepper, harmonized with sweet tobacco flower. There you go, Hendrix. The next one we've had before, and by we, I mean myself. Um, we get this one every time it comes back. Root beer float. Pretty much self-explanatory, but I'm going to smell it anyways. Yes, you can definitely, it is definitely root beer float. Um, you can almost smell like the the foamy, fizzy stuff in the root beer. The description is concoction of old-fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. Spot on. There you go. Root beer float. That's, that's one of our favorites in my house. <sighs> the next one is Route 66. And I believe this one was also a man scent. It is green. Yeah, it's a man scent. It's um, lighter than Hendrix. Maybe a little bit stronger than Business Casual. It is a windswept drive in a convertible. An exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. It's actually very good. So, it's back again for you to get your hands on. The next one is Love Story. And it is a rosy pink. Sorry, there's a fly in here. I cannot stand those things. And... Mm. And it um smells like chocolate covered cherries. That's what I'm gonna go with. 
a little bit. So, the description is innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. I knew, I knew there was chocolate in there. My nose knows when there's chocolate around. Yes, that's nice. It's a very nice scent. It's um kind of I don't know, it's not perfumey. It's just a nice almost fruity. So that is a love story. The next one I am so excited it came back. It was a scent of the month. I don't know. It's been a while. And um, it was one of my favorites. And I ran out. So I'm glad it's back. Spring Symphony. I will be stocking up on this one. It is a light green color. And it's just a nice, clean, springy, pretty much. That's nice, clean scent for if you want to open the windows and just... That's right. The description is as fresh as a spring garden. Sweet hyacinth sings with a fragrant melody of coconut water, violet leaf, and soft musk. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm so glad this one's back. I'm going to stock up on that bad boy. For sure. The next one I have never smelt before. Um, and I'm kind of really curious about it. It's called Midnight Fig. It's a very plummy purple color. And, whoa. This is a very different, very different scent. It's not sucky, but it's just very different. I don't know. Like I said, it's it's just a very different, different scent. The description is earthly ripened figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses. So this is a very interesting mix. So if you want to smell it, let me know. Okay. The next one is Sunny and Cher. And it is a very yellowy, bright wax color. Oh, this is nice. <coughs> I have smelled this one before. Sorry, that wasn't because of the scent. I had a little something in my throat. Um, I think this one was also in my starter kit. And it is a nice, clean scent. Great for spring, summer. And um, the description is a sunny shore washed clean by a spring shower. Soft sea air. Golden citrus and dewy driftwood scattered with white beach daisies. That's nice. That's a nice, clean, summer, springy. Like when you first clean your house and it smells all good before the kids mess it up and everything. You know, that whole five minutes where your house is perfectly clean and smells awesome. There you go. Sunny and Cher. Oh, let's see here. The next one is... My Wish. Purple. Ooh, that smells like flowers. It smells like violet. Lilac flowers. Violet. <laughs> I'm thinking of the color. Yes, it smells like a lilac bush. With something else. Ooh, here we go. The description. A confection of earthly fig 
Sweet Violet and Playful Marshmallow will have you wishing for more. Is that what the extra thing I smell? Yes, I believe so. A little hint of marshmallow. That's very good. My wish. Okay, and the last of the 20 that have been back before. This one has been back a few times. And it is a pretty popular one. Obviously, if it's been back before, Orange Dreamsicle. It is a melonish, uh, orangish yellow color. Okay. It's the color of the label. How about that? <laughs> and this one smells really, really good. It smells like those push pops. The orange push pops you used to get from the ice cream man. Yep, that's totally what I think it smells like. So, Orange Dreamsicle is back. So, that is the 20 that they that have been voted for that have came back. We have five more that have never been brought back before. So, let me get, the, get on with the show. Baja Breeze. It's a minty teal color it's a tropical uh very tropical smell oh i love it very tropical fruits and the description is enchanting blend of tropical fruits and flowers so yes that's another tropical scent baja breeze the next one is bamboo sugar cane. Now these these last five I have never smelled before. So I'm excited. This is a peachy melon color. Ooh, this is different, but at the same time it's pretty good. I smell Citrus, for sure. The description is a sparkling splash of citrus and sweet florals. There you go. That's the other part. It's a nice scent for spring. Getting into summer now, thank God. Don't say that too loud. We live. I live in Ohio. It'll rain in five minutes. All right, the next one is Javanella. It's a brownish color. Oh, that smells like a coffee drink. Yep, that's what it smells like, a coffee drink. And the description is sweet African vanilla, an Italian espresso topped with just a hint of hazelnut. There you go. I said it was a coffee drink. Yep, that's what it is. A hazelnut. It smells like I want to go to Starbucks right now because, yeah. It's nice. It's not a heavy coffee smell. It's like medium, maybe. Anyways, that's a nice one for all my little coffee friends. Two more. Lime Sublime. And of course, it is lime green. And. Woo! Yeah. That's strong, but it's good. It's straight up lime. That is so straight up lime. And the description is there you go. Refreshing aroma of 100% lime juice. That's spot on. Lime. Sublime. And the last one is called Summer Sippin'. And it is a very light scent. Not light scent. Color of yellow. Ish. Summer Sippin'. Woo! It's fruity. It's fruity. 
Yes, it is fruity. The description is sun ripened raspberries and tangy lemons make you wish it were summer. Yeah. It's almost like a fruity drink, but it's definitely tropical fruity. So there you go, you guys. There's all 25 of the Bring Back My Bars for June 2017. And um, as usual, you can get just one. Why would you want just one for $5? You can get a three-pack for 14 or buy five, get one free. So that's six for $25. And you can mix and match them and however you want to do it. Or if you want all of them, you can get the whole set, all 25 for $105. So I actually do have the bars like you just saw. And I also have the testers. So if you're local to me and want to smell them yourself, Get with me. I will bring the testers to you and you can smell them and see for yourself which ones you like. All right. So thank you for watching. Contact me below for any questions or you can visit my website at www.angelanidig.sensi.us. Um, yeah. So have a great day and... Happy sniffing. Bye.